So uh, we're back and knock tail out of her. A woman assaulted in the middle of an Oklahoma neighborhood, and the entire thing was caught on camera. Nearly a year later, still no charges have been filed against the man who admits to hitting her. News Force Hunter McCatherine looks into the reason why. It's new at five. Okima PD did assist the Muskogee Creek Light Horse Police on this case, but we were told by tribal police today that it was sent to the FBI, who isn't planning on pursuing it. It just doesn't seem fair. It seems like with the McGirt ruling that Native Americans in this type of situation that were being punished for being Native. It all started nearly a year ago. Bobby Sutterfield driving in an Okima neighborhood when he hit a dog belonging to Jennifer Dye. The two later got into an argument, and that's where things went south. And she really got mad when I told her she was going to pay for the damage to my $45,000 vehicle. That's when she really got red faced and mad. Moments later, Sutterfield struck Dye in the face. He had hit me so hard in my face, and my glasses flew to the ground. Seeing the assault firsthand, Dye's family came running to her aid. That's when Sutterfield pulled his gun. And he had the gun pointed to them. And um, um, I just remember them all screaming. Okima police then arrived on scene and discovered Dye belonged to the Muskogee Creek Nation, which under McGirt would mean they don't have authority. Fast forward to nearly a year later, and still no charges. Muskogee Creek Nation Light Horse Police telling News 4 the FBI is not pursuing the case, but Jennifer says she won't give up. I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep trying. I don't think that it's right that he gets to walk the street and have no consequences for his actions. In Okima, Hunter McCatherine, Oklahoma's News 4. We asked the FBI today to confirm whether or not they received the case and if they're pursuing it, but so far we haven't gotten an answer.